Hello guys, welcome back to TechDoz and in this video we will see the shortest palindrome problem which is from lead code number 214. A prerequisite before solving this problem is to watch my video on KMP algorithm. The link will be in the i button and also in the description below. Now let's read the problem statement. In this problem, you are given a string S and you can convert S to a palindrome by adding characters in front of it. So we need to return the shortest palindrome you can find by performing this transformation. Uh, so let's look at some examples for better understanding. In this case, you are given an input string, let's say S. In this case, we have taken B, C, B, A. Our goal is to find the shortest palindrome. And the constraint is that we can only append in the beginning of the string S. We cannot do any other operation, just the append operation in the beginning. So if you convert S uh, to a palindrome, then I can just append an A in the beginning which I have shown with the green color and you can form ABCBA which is a palindrome. Now if you take the second example ABCD then I can append DCB in the beginning to make the entire string as palindrome, right? So these are the answers. Now if you consider an input string S then the input string can already be a palindrome or it may not be a palindrome. So if the input string is already a palindrome then the answer will be the same as the input string and we do not need to append any character. But if the input string is not a palindrome then we need to do some append operations, okay? So I hope uh, the problem statement was clear. Now the next question which comes to mind is, is it always possible to make any string as a palindrome by appending the characters in the beginning? And the answer to this question is yes, it is always possible to make a given string S into a palindrome by doing some append operations in the beginning. Now let's look at an example. I have taken string S to be ABCD which is of even length. Now if I have to make it a palindrome, I can always guarantee that if the length here was N which is equals to 4, then I can append N minus 1 characters in the beginning and I can greedily input the uh, characters like D, C, B in order to make it a palindrome. Now if you take another example, let's say odd length example s equals abc, then I can always append n minus 1 characters, that means 3 minus 1, 2 characters in the beginning greedily in such a way that I will make the entire string as palindrome. Fine. So the maximum number of characters needed to make a string s into a palindrome will be n minus 1 where n is the original length of the string given. Okay. But then our goal uh, is not to just convert S to palindrome, uh, but then we need to do it in uh, by minimizing the number of characters to append. Okay, so this is a little bit challenging. Now let's look at some intuitions uh, which will help us build the solution. So initially, let's say our uh, given string S is B A double B C B. Now if you want to convert this into a palindrome, uh, then what may happen is some characters needs to be appended in the beginning to make it a palindrome if it is not already a palindrome, right? Some character needs to be appended in the beginning. If you append some characters in the beginning, then don't you think that the original string S, uh, the prefix of it uh, will come somewhere in the middle, right? It will come somewhere in between. It will not be a prefix anymore, okay? If you think ab about it carefully, if I want to append minimum number of characters in the beginning, to make this entire string a palindrome, then the prefix, I, I will want the prefix uh, to be a palindrome and that prefix length, I will try to maximize it. So I will want the longest length of the prefix to be the palindrome. In the best case scenario, my entire string as a prefix will be a palindrome so that I don't have to append anything in the beginning. But if it is not possible, uh, then I will want to maximize the prefix length, which is a palindrome, right? So what I want to do is, uh, in this case, I want to find out the longest palindromic prefix. So let's understand this visually first. I know that BAB is the longest uh, prefix which is a palindrome. Okay. So I will not be appending this in the beginning. However, I will be appending the reverse of whatever was not included in the longest palindromic prefix. So the reverse of this BCB will be BCB. Okay. If it was BCD, then it would have been DCB. Fine. So this is uh, my goal. So if you look at how I have converted this S to S palindrome, then uh, my first goal is to find out the longest palindromic prefix and that is equals to BAB. Now if this is already a palindrome, don't touch it. Don't do anything about it. And the leftover part of the string which is not in the longest palindromic prefix, you reverse that and append it in the beginning. 
okay so if it was bcd then i would have appended dcb simply right so this is the entire idea of how you will convert a given string s into its palindromic form by using minimum number of append operations in the beginning now if you have to find the longest palindromic prefix then what you will do is uh, you will be taking the first prefix and check if it is a palindrome then the uh, second prefix and check if it is a palindrome third prefix fourth prefix and so on so how many prefixes can be there order of n prefixes and each of the prefix uh, palindrome check is order of n using the two pointer approach and that will make it order of n square okay so the simple solution will take order of n square to find the longest palindromic prefix and solve the problem now the constraint section in the problem uh, all already mentioned n is less than equals to 5 into 10 to the power of 4 so n square the maximum value of n so with the maximum value of n take n square and that will be equals to 2.5 times of 10 to the power 9 which is obviously greater than 10 to the power 8 so it will not run in one second it will give you tle so this is not the optimal solution okay now let's look at another intuition let's say that the given string is b a double b c b now if you want to do simple palindrome check you can use a left and right pointer and then move the left pointer to the right and right pointer to the left as long as they match and if l is equals to r or greater than r then that means the given string is palindrome okay or wherever it stops you will know that it is not a palindrome okay now this is one way to check using two pointer another way to check is if you take s and you uh, take the reverse of that given string s and s reverse then you don't need to go from both ends you can go from the same end and you can keep on checking and the first point where they do not match that will be the breaking point and if it was a palindrome then the reverse string and the given string will always match fine so this is how we can do palindrome check now let's compare the prefix of the given original string s with the suffix of s reverse like let's just take these three characters from the beginning and if i take the suffix what does this mean you see that uh, the first three characters of s must be the last three characters of s reverse but given in the opposite order okay so if this was b a b uh, this is b a b in the opposite order right fine so since the first and the third character is same it is not visible but it will be visible if if it was d then you will find a d here not at the third index right so what do i mean by this is the prefix of s is the reverse of suffix of the given reverse string okay if you think about it carefully i think you will get it so the prefix of s is equals to the reverse of suffix of the uh, reversed string fine so if i want to find the longest palindromic prefix what is longest palindromic prefix what is a palindrome even if you uh, if s is a palindrome then s and s reverse will always be equal right that is the definition of a palindrome so if i am thinking about some prefix which is a palindrome then don't you think that its reversed form will also be uh, the same so if i say that the prefix of s is equals to the reverse of uh, suffix of s reverse uh, then if they are same then actually they are palindromic and since i want to maximize the length of this palindromic prefix so as long as we match going from left to right the longest prefix in s which is the suffix in s reverse then i will be able to find the longest palindromic prefix fine so this is exactly what is done by the kmp algorithm right so what we need to do is we need to write s and then s reverse side by side we need to use a separator let's say we have appended it with a star and this form a complete single string now we calculate the lps array and the last index of the lps array will tell us what is the longest prefix which is also a suffix okay so let me show you a dry run of this idea i would like to announce about our live training programs data structures and algorithms which is interview dos and system design which is design dos if you are looking for making a switch from service to product based or even make a product based to product based top tier switch and aiming for your dream company this is the best curriculum you can ever join i'll be your mentor throughout the cohort and i will help you clear all your doubts in the one on one sessions you can know more about this by querying us on the whatsapp number or you can also visit our website techdose.co.in our goal here is to find the longest prefix which is also a suffix in the string s star s reverse because we are appending the two strings and using the separator as star which is not present in the string okay 
I have taken the initial original string to be b a double b c b and the length n is equals to 6. So if I have to take the LPS array with this, you know that the uh, length of s and s reverse will exactly be the same and then a star is getting added. So the length of the longest palindromic prefix array will be 2n plus 1 which will range from 0 to 2n index. Okay. So I hope you know the uh, KMP algorithm. So let me just proceed with the dry run. In this case, what I do is the J will be compared with I. If they are not the same and I is already at 0 index, put a 0 and go to the next index. The Jth and the Ith index are same. So see the value and add 1 to it. So this will be 1 and these two will be updated. Again match B with A. They are not matching. So move back by looking at the previous value of LPS array. So we'll move back at 0. Compare this B with B, they are matching, so 0 plus 1 is 1. Move both the pointers to the right hand side. Now match this C with A, uh, they are not matching, so again move back to this 0. And uh, since B and C are again not matching, this will be 0. Go to this B, B and B are matching, so this will be 1. So your uh, left pointer will be at, uh, will be at uh, A, which is basically your I pointer. And your J pointer will be at star. Now this star makes sure that your i will always go to 0 because there will be no match and, and it will always have 0. Now this part of the LPS is useless. You can just skip filling it up. I mean it is not required but I have done this in the code okay, for simplicity. But uh, our main intention is to start doing it from index number 7 which is index number uh, n plus 1. Now let me clean up uh, this mess so that you will be better able to understand this. So this is my j pointer and this is my i pointer. Now B is matching with B, so put index plus 1 which is 1. Move the I pointer and the J pointer. A is not matching with C, so move back to the previous index of the LPS, so we will move back to 0. Now match this 0th index with C, not matching, so we cannot go further left, so put a 0 and go to the right hand side. Again this uh, B is matching with B, so put the index plus 1 which is 1 and move to the right hand side. This will also move to the right hand side. A is not matching with this B, so look at the previous index of the LPS array and move to that. So we will move to 0. Now B is matching with B, so put 0 plus 1 and uh, move this to the right hand side and move this to the right hand side as well. Match A with A, it is matching, so 1 plus 1 is 2, move it to the right hand side, move it to the right hand side. B and B are matching, so put 2 plus 1, 3, move it to the right hand side, move it to the right hand side. You see that we are done with the entire string because J has gone out of bounds, okay? Now this last index here will give me the longest palindromic uh, prefix, okay, longest palindromic prefix. So we know that the longest palindromic prefix is of length 3. What was my original string? It was B A double B C B. So if the longest palindromic prefix is of length 3, that means B A double B need not be changed and that has to be just appended as it is, right. Now the for the rest part, the leftover, we have to uh, take the reverse of it and append it in the beginning. So we will be appending bcb. So how we can do it is uh, we take the substring from the s reverse string uh, starting at index number 0 because if you reverse it this will be index 0 this will be index 1 2 3 4 and 5 okay in the s reverse string. So take the s reverse string take the substring starting from index 0 and how many items do you want? You want the diff number of items. Okay what is the diff number of item? N is the initial length which is 6. LPS at 2 n is the longest palindromic uh, prefix which is of length 3. So I want 3 characters from the beginning. So that means B, C, B and that will be appended. And the leftover will always be present on the right hand side. So this will be our answer. Okay. So this was the original string which is S and this is the difference string which needs to be appended in the beginning. So this is the part of the code. Okay. So I hope you were able to understand this solution. This is a linear order solution order of n. And the space complexity is also order of n due to the LPS array. Now let us look at the code. In this code you see that we are given an original string s and I have found the size that that means the length of the string. I have preserved the original string, saved it in the original string variable and then I have taken an str. str uh, will actually store s uh, start with s reverse. Okay. So you see that initially I am initializing str with s and then I am reversing the string s and uh, appending s at the end. Okay, so this S is the reverse string. Fine. After having done this part, uh, we need to build the LPS array which is of size 2n plus 1. So the index will be from 0 to 2n. Okay, 
and the and you know that the last index will give me the longest palindromic prefix so the rest part of the code is the kmp algorithm building the lps uh, array okay so this you can watch from my kmp video and up af and after having done this uh, we need to see what is the length of the string in our example the length of the string was 6 and and uh, you need to subtract it from the uh, longest palindromic prefix which is lps at 2 n so you will get the difference which needs to be appended in the beginning of s so what you need to do is what is s s is the original string so original string was reversed and that is why i had saved it in the original uh, the variable so this original will be at the end and in, in the initial part we need to take the reverse of the string s i mean it was already reversed at this step so it is already reversed so reverse of string s and take the substring starting at index 0 and take the diff number of items from there and append it and this is our final answer okay i hope you were able to understand this if you have any question then please comment below and i'll try to help you as soon as possible like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of these programming videos see you guys in the next video thank you